I realized the other day that I get really annoyed when teachers ask uh, ask for your essays to be double spaced. If, if I just find that it makes the essay very very ugly, I don't know, it just makes the structure very weird, and I just don't like it. I mean, okay, I understand it's easier for them to write comments and stuff like that, but still, I find it very ugly. I don't know, it's just the paragraphs look so weird. They would look so big and annoying, and then I don't like. Then you don't actually have that much space. It's just the spaces between the lines are very big. I just like it when it's like you know one. I think one fifteen. That's the standard uh, spacing. Yeah, it looks so pretty. And then you know when you look from far away, or not far away, but you just you know when you've written a lot, and then you can look at it and you're like, oh, it looks very pretty. I like the structure, but uh, unfortunately, most cases the teacher ask, teachers ask for it to be double space. Not not most cases, but a lot of the cases, which is annoying. But then again, it's easier for me to read their comments. But still, fine. Okay. Guess what? Now I have the book Pride and Prejudice. Um, I actually have it on my phone, uh, which means I'll be able to read it. Um, I haven't started reading it yet. Uh, I'm currently reading The Perks of Being a Wallflower. Um, I have it on my phone as well. Um, it's actually the first book I ever read on my phone. I always thought it would be just so annoying to read uh, on my iPhone because it's such, such a small screen. But I don't know, just uh, I decided to download it. Oh, even though we have the book, because I checked uh, online, we have the book in our school library. I don't think it's far because in our like the public library, there are like four people or five people in line to get the book. So I was like, eh, that'll take me like months for me to get the book. So we have it in the school library, and I don't think anyone has borrowed it. Which um, I don't know. I just I don't know. I decided to download it because I suck at returning things in time, even though. The school library doesn't even charge if you don't return it on time, but oh well. I don't know, I'm just weird like that. So I decided to download it um, on my iPhone. And it's plus, it's just more practical because now I can uh, I just read whenever I have like nothing to do or like I'm bored in class. I did do that. I did it yesterday. No, today. We're having presentations in business. And then I just got bored and I didn't want to listen to the others. So I was like, huh, I'll just read. Yeah. Um, yeah, but, um, I, yeah, I got private purchases, um, they, they had it for free on the, like, what's, um, iTunes, I think, or, like, you know, when you go to the iBooks app, I think, you know, the store, so they had, they have, like, a bunch of books for free, but I think they have all the Jane Austen books, they're all for free, because I know that, like, because I got the app, like, well, when I got my iPhone, and then I know that, for some reason, I downloaded uh, Sense and Sensibility, which is also by Jane Austen, but, because I remember, Someone talking about it in Swedish class, uh, which I don't know, sounded interesting, interesting, so I wanted to read it, which I still haven't read, but I have it on my phone. So I was like, oh, maybe they have it for free instead of just me downloading it online. So I figured, oh, I'll look for it. It was for free. So I just got it. Um, so I'll probably start reading it after I finish reading uh, what's called uh, The Perks of Being Wallflower. Um, I haven't come that far with that. Um, the pages are weird since it's on my iPhone. I think it says that it has like 500. 12 or something, I don't know, like iPhone pages, you know, tiny ones. So I'm like on page 125. Yeah. This will be the last video I make when I'm 17 because next week I'll be 18. Because ah, I'm turning 18 on Monday. So yeah. Growing up. Hmm. Gonna be an adult. Oh my god. So this is like the last video I make as a child. Ah. Yeah. So next, next week I am going to be an adult.